Hello guys, and this time I'm back with a really incredible file hider or locker. So uh, what this locker does is it just creates a folder called personal or whatever you would like to call it. You can always rename it here and here. So what it does if the folder doesn't exist, it creates the folder. You can shove your personal files or whatever you want inside that folder like any other folder and if you can hide them if you want to and you can go ahead and double tap the locker and just say yes or no for the locking choice and if you say yes the locker just renames or reassigns the address of your personal folder to this address and this one is pretty difficult to find trust me so yeah that is it now why do you need it and how does it work so two things to remember just enter your password to unlock your folder you can enter your password here I will um, make this file available just like this so you can go ahead and where the hell is that uh, so you can go ahead and find uh, this annoying errors with A and E capital and a space in between so you can find those there are two of them here and down here you can rename that to any password you'd like so for me I'm going to rename it as password and the second thing to remember if you have any uppercase um, letters inside or numbers or underscores or any special characters you need to remember them as they are uh, so that makes it case sensitive so you cannot just write down annoying errors with the A and E capital uh, sorry in the lower case it won't work that way so two things change the password and the locker is case sensitive so make sure you remember it correctly so I'm gonna rename the password to password so that's done here and I go up and look for it you so here it is again to password and you save the file all right so you're done with phase one now all you need to do is right click it rename it to locker.bat if you change the name existing uh, extension blah 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 so you just hit yes and you double tap it you run it it will create a folder named personal because it wasn't here already now you can hide a file inside it you can hide whatever you want so I'm gonna hide this thing inside okay so it's inside my personal folder I hope nobody gets their hands on it okay so how to hide it you double tap this again are you sure you want to lock the folder yes or no so instead of typing yes or no you can go with y or n so i'm gonna go with y and that's gone so uh, that folder is gone now even if you check the hidden item stuff it won't show up here and even if you refresh so that's not gonna show up and the only way you can get it out is by again go, going inside your locker.bat and entering your password for me it's just password with p capital so there it is that's the personal folder and here is my hidden stuff so uh, again two things to remember 
you can always hide the contents inside the folder by going to properties and general tab hidden you can do that with the contents inside the folder and to the locker.bat itself so that they do not show up just like that however if you tick the hidden item stuff the locker.bat is going to show up and um, if the person knows your password you're busted and the other way you can get caught is like this now you have your hidden item stuff checked and you prompt yes to lock the folder and you lock it so there you go you can see what the folder is renamed to so if you just go ahead and rename it and copy the stuff from here and go to windows and users and the current user for me it will be abhishek so i go inside and desktop and when i go here i just put the slash here and a paste and when i hit enter you can see my hidden folder so that's the only way you can get busted if you are prompting to lock the folder and you have your hidden items checked so make sure when you're locking your folder you do not have this checked and where does this come from you normally go to so you when when you open your windows explorer it's like this if you want to hide or see hidden files you can go to view and here you have it so uh, that's it about the locker the link is in the description make sure you change your password and uh, this is a pretty simple code you can always edit the code it's not it does not have any copyrights so thanks to me and yeah actually I don't even know who made this thing so I'm just claiming it it's it's on me now so if you have any difficulties just check me in the comment section below and thanks for watching